Marshall High School students found a unique way to learn about the history and culture of the Caribbean by creating steel drums out of recycled 55-gallon barrels. Three members of the Hell's Gate Steel Band of Antigua spent three weeks at Marshall helping students learn to build and play the drums. During their stay, they taught students the special techniques used to turn discarded barrels into finely tuned musical instruments. At the same time, they provided a first-hand look at life in the Caribbean as students studied the history, geography, and culture of the region. More than 100 students from Marshall's Global Studies, Foreign Language, Art, Music, and Theater programs worked with the Antiguan musicians during their visit. On November 15th, the students joined the band on stage for an evening of steel drum music at Theater on the Ridge. Well, I found it interesting that we could tie in the history of Antigua through Marshall and by them coming, find out their different cultures and stuff, you know, learning about them in school and then finding out, you know, in personal how they are and their cultures and the way they celebrate different musics. And the tropical sounds of Caribbean drums filled the ears of all who attended this year's football sectionals late October at Favre Stadium on the University of Rochester campus. John Marshall High's Steel Drum Band, which is a recent addition to the school's multicultural music program, warmed up the crowd prior to the second game which featured John Marshall against Victor High. The band which was formed last fall after a visit from the Hell's Gate Steel Band of Antigua, features up to 28 drums, or pans, that were actually handcrafted by Marshall students. Hell's Gate, which spent three weeks in Rochester late last year, assisted students in building and tuning the drums, which are valued at about $1,000 a piece. So as this crowd can tell you, John Marshall's steel band sound was well worth the hard work. <laughs>